Shoot straight, you bastards! Don't make a mess of it! Welcome to my match video for the Range Project no, Group International Day Night Match hosted at Shadowhawk Defense in West Virginia. The concept behind this match is to shoot the day portion, uh, then go cold, reset the stages, and then do it all again at night under white light or nods. This is my first time at a match like this, uh, and it was an incredible experience. If you are looking into doing something like this, I highly recommend it. Yep. So let's get started. There's a little note on scoring here. I'm used to IDPA style scoring. It's the one I'm most familiar with. So the scoring for this was a little bit different. Yep. Since there were 12 stages overall, they wanted to go ahead and expedite repasting uh, and scoring. So all of the targets, the requirement is either one shot in the A zone or two anywhere on the target. As you'll see, the point of that is really to just get things moving. Uh, the shooters are going to be moving very quickly because, uh, again, if all you're worried about is two yep. on the anywhere, people are going to be moving and grooving. Oh, right. We started on stage five, which featured a stage gun. Are you ready? Shooter you ready. have one okay. chance using that stage gun to go ahead and get a hit on steel, which would result in a 10 second bonus. Then pick up some ammo cans and get moving. If finished, we move it to the clear. Stage six was my absolute worst stage of the day. It was a total dumpster fire and had everything to do with a bad magazine. I usually use Magpul Gen 3 P mags. Yeah, shooter ready. Since there were so many stages, I decided to try out. Uh, some new OK Sure Feed metal magazines, and this is what I'm using here. For oh, some reason, the Sure Feed continuously Lock kept on double feeding my rifle, meaning I had to stop to clear the jam, reload the magazine, and it just kept on doing it. Um, to make it even more frustrating, it wasn't even that whole batch, it was that one single magazine. After this stage, we went to a test bay and I tried out a different OK Sure Feed mag, fully loaded, 30 rounds. I loaded on a closed bolt and it fed and ran beautifully. Again, I don't know why, but uh, after this one, I took that mag, uh, I sharpied it, and uh, this one's probably either going to end up in the trash or I'm going to run it over with my car or something because it really pissed me off. It finished the loading show quick. All right. All right. Deals on the mark. Stage one was pretty straightforward. The only wrinkle being that you, you started no, facing up range. So at the buzzer, you had to turn around, run down range get your rifle and the magazine which were on the table load and then get to work all right it's finished the loading show clear Stage two also featured a stage gun, starting with that handgun pointed at the range marker on the right. Uh, at the buzzer, you get one chance to hit the steel, giving you a 10 second bonus. After doing that, you ditch the pistol in the bucket and then turn around and do some tractor tire flips.
I'll be honest, the tractor tire flip was a little harder than expected. Not because I'm not strong enough, but just because I've never done tractor tire flips, so I probably need to go ahead and get one for my home gym. Stage three was my best stage of the day. Uh, I came in 39th out of 107 shooters on this one. Like some of the others, it featured a stage gun, hit the steel, dump the pistol in the bucket, and go to work. This stage also featured a stomp plate to activate a swinging target. These are a lot more difficult in IDPA when you have to hit specific parts of the target. It's finished on the show clear. Chill. I, I felt like the shorter poles worked a little Stage better. four was the last so? stage for us during right, the daytime see. portion. Are you ready? You're At the buzzer, ready. you had to go ahead and start hauling the rope to bring a weighted sled over to you. Inside the weighted sled is your magazine. So once the sled reaches you, you can grab the magazine, load your rifle, and then go ahead and complete the stage. It's finished and loading so quick. We had about three hours between the end of the daylight portion and the beginning of the nighttime shoot. Yo. At around 8 p.m. they gathered us together uh, and hey, gave us the is, nighttime uh, safety brief. The, the stages were roughly the same, except they removed all the physical components, all of the stage guns. Uh, this would be simply, at the buzzer, engage all targets. Oh, we it did this just to cut down on the potential for mishaps, which are going to be elevated anyway because you're shooting at night. All of the competitors had a green chem light attached to their, their head, their butt, somewhere on them in what, order thing? to be able to identify them when they're downrange pasting. <laughs> you're good. We started on stage 11, which during the daytime portion was stage 5. Forgot about that. And then oh, it went at the buzzer, right? Yep. Next up was stage 12, which during the day was stage 6, where my mag failed me. So I was definitely looking for redemption on this one. It's finished, I'm loading so clear. Next up was stage seven, which was the daytime stage one. Finish the moon so clear. Uh, Are you ready? Next up is stage eight, the sure daytime ready. stage two. It 
finish the move. On belt. Yep. On belt. This one was stage yep, nine. Sure. Uh, daytime yeah, stage three. We finished on stage 10, the daytime stage 4. This match was incredible, but it was also exhausting. I think we finally wrapped up shooting around 1 or 1.30, but by then I'm kind of loopy and I have no idea what time it was. All I know is I think I finally left the range at 2.30 in the morning. Out of all the matches I've been to, I think this one had the highest overall skill level of the competitors. There were some pro shooters there. The Marine Corps had their shooting team. It was definitely uh, a lot of really good shooters there. I'm glad with my performance. I came in 62nd overall out of 107 shooters. And in my division, I came in 19th out of 35 shooters in white light tactical rifle.